Hi, I'm Becky. And I'm Mickey. And we have some great books to tell you guys about today. The first one I have is called Amazing Grace by Megan Scholl, and it is a really interesting story because it starts out with someone super famous. A tennis player named Grace Kincaid is about to win the US Open, but she is crumbling under the pressure. In fact, she wants to get out of the tennis game completely. She can't take it anymore. She's in the locker room calling her mom saying three little words, I want out. And her surprise, her mom says, okay, honey, whatever you say and she gets to leave the whole tennis game. She cuts her hair, she dyes it, she pierces her nose, she moves to Medicine Hat, Alaska, which only has 815 people, and she gets lives in this tiny cabin in the woods which only has an outhouse. And there's a former FBI agent who lives with her to help her stay in disguise, and she gets to reform her entire life. She's taking bike rides down these country roads, she's living with the wildlife. In fact, her first bike ride, she almost hits a moose, and that's how she meets a really cute guy for the first time and so it's a really good story of uh, figuring out who you really are when you leave behind everything you thought you knew amazing grace great book sounds pretty exciting it is I brought a graphic novel this is Baba Yaga's assistant by Marika Makula and this is about a girl named Masha and Masha has been hearing stories about Baba Yaga through her entire childhood she's and when kind of scary oh, she's kind of a scary witch she likes to uh, travel around in her house that has chicken legs, Ooh. and it's rumored that she might eat children, Ooh. but we're not sure if she really does. So when Masha's family kind of breaks up because her mother has died and her father is remarrying, Masha decides that she wants to become Baba Yaga's assistant. And Baba Yaga says, you must pass three trials to become my assistant. And Masha thinks, I've read all the stories. I think I can do this. But as in every story, it's never exactly what you think it's going to be. Never so easy. It's a very beautiful adventure. Awesome. I really like graphic novels too because when I feel busy I can still say I'm reading a book and it's going so fast and I love it. Playaways and audiobooks are also good when you feel stressed out and busy. And if you haven't seen a playaway, this is the book Reached by the way. If you guys have been reading Match, the Match trilogy, this is the final book. So if you get to the end of your trilogy and you don't find the book in print, be sure to check for the audiobooks because they can really help you out. You could listen to the whole uh, book reached just by plugging in your headphones and pushing play and someone will read this book to you. It's fabulous It's really so, convenient. Oh, yeah If you're on the bus if you're on a car trip if you don't want to listen to someone next to you who's going on and on It's fantastic But book on CD is another way you can have an audiobook and that is how I have silent to the bone for you guys today And silent to the bone is a great mystery if you're looking for something that you really kind of want to read and figure out it tells you about this character, Branwell, who has been struck dumb. He, he's not talking in this book. And it first happens when he's dialing 911 about his baby sister who's slipped into a coma. Really bad time to stop talking, right? Um, but he's really traumatized because something has happened. And the nanny steps in and she says, you know what? Nikki has been uh, dropped and shaken and the baby's in a coma and Branwell is at fault. And so he gets sent to the detention center. And his friend Connor is thinking, you know, I know my friend pretty well. I don't think he would do this. And so Connor starts visiting Branwell at the detention center and trying to figure out what is really going on. But if Branwell won't speak up, it's going to be really hard to prove his innocence. So that's the heart of this book. Really, really fantastic mystery. Mm, that's a whodunit. It is. I brought another book that's kind of a whodunit or a why done it. Mm -hmm. This is Witches, the Absolutely True Tale of Disaster in Salem. And it's taken from our history. It's about uh, Salem, Massachusetts in the year 1692, where two young girls of the Paris household started acting very strangely. They would hide under their furniture, they would bark like dogs, oh and they told their parents that uh, invisible specters were pinching them and poking them with pins. Jeez. Yeah. Over the coming year, these two girls accused over 200 people in their community of being witches, and at least 20 of them were executed. This is kind of a fascinating story because we're really not even sure why they did it or what was happening in that town that let this kind of disaster happen. It's a very exciting uh, tale taken straight from our history books. Kind wow. of exciting. I would love to read that. Well, all of these books are here at the library, and you guys can come and check them out, visit us, and ask for what other stuff you might love to read. We are full of ideas. Absolutely. Stop in and say hi. See you soon. See ya.